Hi, today we're going to have a look at how to use Kingfisher drywall cream to create a new chemical damp proof course in an existing brick wall. So let's first take a quick look at what we're going to need to do the job. 18 volt hammer drill, injection nozzle, drywall injection gun, drywall tubes, tape measure, we have marking tape, drill bits, gloves, and of course the data sheet to refer to. So when drilling for your new chemical DPC, it's important not to over drill the holes, otherwise the cream will just push through uh, out the other side. So the easiest way to make sure that you've got the correct depth is to refer to the, uh, to, to the data sheet. There's a tab table which gives you the, the depths for the different wall thicknesses. In this case, we're going to be doing a, a, a four and a half inch or 110 mil uh, uh, brick wall. So we're only wanting to, uh, to drill to 100 mil. So we must mark that off with, uh, with some of the marking tape. And that way, we're not going to over drill our hole. Okay, so we're now ready to drill the holes for our drywall injection cream. The location is really important because we're trying to get the, the, the damp uh, contained as low down as possible. So we're going for the first viable mortar bed. And in this case, this is the first viable mortar bed along here because at the bottom, you can see the wall slightly covered by the concrete floor. So you wouldn't inject there because you're not going to get a good spread. What we want is the cream to migrate from uh, from here laterally along the joint and on the perpendiculars because we're going to drill at 120. So every second one coincides with the perpendicular which allows the cream to migrate downwards as well which improves the integrity of the new DPC. So we're going 1, 120, 240, 360 and 480 right out to 600 and so on. Uh, that gets you the best uh, lateral migration of the cream and ensures the integrity of your new damp proof course. Okay, we've got our 100 mil depth already marked, so here goes. Okay, so we've got our first uh, uh, injection hole drilled. Now we want to set up the cream and the gun. So it's just pretty much like a, a, a cartridge sealant. As you can see, you just cut the, the cap off with a Stanley blade. <clears throat> and we can fit the, the nozzle and engage that into the drywall gun. You can use a uh, most standard sealant guns for this and as you can see we've got the the cream primed to inject. So that's us ready to inject the cream into the injection hole. So what you want to do is push the uh, the injection nozzle in as far as you can to the back of the joint and then we're just slowly applying pressure and filling the cream. You see it's kind of pushing back around the... There we are. Done a bit too much on that one. And the same again. And right the way along the entire course that you're, you're injecting. Don't worry about any excess that comes out. We can 
clean that up later. There we go, and that's your injected damp proof course. Well, you can see that our drywall damp proof cream is, uh, is now migrating nicely along the mortar joints. Um, all we have to do now is leave this for uh, uh, for a few days, and the uh, and and the different uh, drill holes will start to uh, to join up as the cream migrates through the mortar beds. Obviously, we've only drilled half a dozen holes today, but I think you get an idea of how quickly you could do 10, 20, 30 meters of treatment, um, and uh, you'll know, really control you know even the most serious of rising damp problems. As always, uh, if you need any additional technical support, uh, we are available on the phone. The number is on the website and uh, we're delighted to review your, uh, your emails and photographs um, so you can send them in uh, also through the, the webmail facility on kingfisheruk.com. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon.